Showtime for the Raptors as they pulled into the building, a squad that looks more than ready for the game ahead of them. Stunning view of the moon over our broadcast location tonight in Dallas, Texas. Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldridge joins us on the sidelines. DA, it's all yours. Well, Kevin, even though starters are important, those great sixth men have been the key to so many championship teams. Think about the likes of Andre Iguodala, Manu Ginobili, Lamar Odom. And still, with some, there's a stigma to coming off the bench. Iguodala said it's ingrained early, but in particular, he said, in the NBA, it's, I need to get paid like a starter. And guys, that's a sacrifice that not many are willing to line up for. David Aldridge, thank you. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Taking a look at Houston, they're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And I think for the Mavericks, they have to like the progression that we've seen. Bit by bit, everything coming together, consistency going forward will be key. Here are the five for the Raptors. Van Vliet and Lowry are the one and the two. Powell is out there with OG Ananobi, and it's Baines in its center. And for the Mavericks, we've got Luka Doncic, Dwight Powell is out there with Porzingis. Then it's Johnson, and it's Burke in at the point. Reagan, 1991, you were drafted 12th overall. Talk about early expectations as a first-round pick. Your son going through it right now. Yeah, I, I, no doubt. Listen, everyone wants to see what you got. Uh, and also, you want to prove that you belong. And, and so because of that, though, especially in today's game, Sometimes judgment comes way too quickly, and we've seen it with a lot of great young players that because they come in a lot earlier in terms of their age, it may take them an extra year or two to figure it all out. And so the teams that are most patient in allowing those kids to mature at their own level tend to be the ones that get uh, the higher rewards. It, indeed, and we see so much impatience, and it causes problems. He's heady, he's unselfish. All Van Fleet does is make winning plays. Doncic against Lowry. And here's Przingis for a three. A shot, no good. And Toronto will come the other way. And this is the first time they've matched up with the Mavericks this year. And really, this is a team that expects to beat everyone when they step on the floor. But they were only able to split the series last year. They are not short in confidence, but they can't get too carried away because it could cost them the game. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. The Mavericks shooting their first free throw of the night here. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And that one falls for Johnson. And what James Johnson brought with him coming into this league, physicality. He combines size, strength, athleticism, and a seven-foot-one wingspan. Now, here's Lowry. He's coming off a 25-point game against Portland. And no one on defense could stay in front of him. He continually got pummeled and kept getting back to the strike. Doncic, and it's Lowry with the rebound. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Hammers the alley-oop through. This is what I like about Lowry, not just looking for his shot, even though he's an excellent scorer. And you look over the course of Kyle Lowry's career, He's bounced around for quite some time, but boy, has he found a home in Toronto. And you know, G.A., a few summers back, had a chance to leave, but he stayed with the Toronto Raptors. What a decision that was. Reason why, he helped lead this team to their first title. Kyle Lowry's beloved by this franchise. He'll go down as one of the all-time great Raptors. Oh. 
the Raptors have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Lowry up top. And all quarter long, it's been the same story, inconsistent with his offense. And lead against Johnson. Perzingis kicks to Burke. Back to Perzingis. To the paint. Reverses. Hangs. That's tipped. It's Powell on the wing. Guarded by Powell. Powell dishes to Baines. Nice tee from Porzingis. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Raptors trail by five. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. And they pick up two. Fred Van Bleed is staying locked in. He's confident going to the floater when given the chance. Lowry against Doncic. Outside, Brzingis. Powell trying to free himself up. For the Raptors, their last game, a loss to the Trailblazers in Portland. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. Yes, the other team is feeding off that enthusiasm. You have to try and match that energy. Now here's Paul. Burke covering and there's going to be a foul. He definitely made contact with the ball and in doing so also got the body. So we'll see free throws here. It's his first trip to the line. good on that one. He hits the second from the line. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. They are coming into this having not to win against the Knicks in their last game. The mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. It was a terrific performance we got a chance to watch. They got into a nice rhythm and made smart adjustments along the way. Here's Van Vliet. After Luka Doncic's bucket, Van Vliet finds Ananobi. Lowry for three, Porzingis with the rebound. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from some. Oh! Oh! That's what I'm talking oh, about. Wow. That was nice. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Here's Doncic. And he just worked New York in that last game. Pass to Burke. Back to Doncic. Just five on the clock. And here's Przingis for a three. That one also a miss for him, just like the other three attempts this game. And at a certain point, you just have to look to someone else to score for you. Van Vliet attacking. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth rebound in this one. Dallas moving it around. And the shot goes in from Kristaps Porzingis. 
such assertiveness. This is why Porzingis is a go-to option on offense. Never afraid to take a big shot. Lowry passes to on and over. It's tipped. And it's the Mavericks on the break. That's good from Burke on the assist by Johnson. Well, that, that's three of their last five baskets in transition. Here's Van Vliet. He had a 30-point outing their last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Powell against Johnson. And the Raptors miss again. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double-digit lead. This has been a beatdown right here, possibly over before it began. Raptors trail by 10, so timeout called here, the first for Toronto. And it was interesting how the Dallas franchise sold its fans on Doncic. Ownership told them, think of a 6'7 Steve Nash. Isn't quite the shooter Steve was, but is only a teenager. Great vision, boy, he can really pass it, and it turns out Doncic is all of that and more. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Willie Cauley-Stein, he's checked in for Przingis. Maxi Kleba comes in for Dwight Powell. Hardaway's checked in for Johnson. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Trey Burke. And Toronto will go for a different look here. Chris Boucher, he's checked in for Aaron Baines. Thomas comes in for Norman Powell. Terrence Davis, he's checked in for Kyle Lowry. And McCaw is subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. Here's McCall. Brunson covering. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Mavericks leading by 10. And stolen by Thomas. And here comes Thomas leading the fast break. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Dallas has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And even Nash himself called Doncic a dream prospect. Yeah, it said Luka was big and mobile enough in the modern game, can guard multiple positions, has a skill set, a winning mentality, and those leadership qualities. Steve Nash sounding like a future GM. Davis down low, guarded by Doncic. Boucher, and that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Doncic feeling it out. Five on the clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Hardaway with a wide-open look. A three-pointer is right on target. And the Mavericks lead by 11. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And that one, good. Now, Doncic, he's got nine. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. The Mavericks have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Thank you. 
That free throw good from Doncic. I you know you grew up with aspirations of someday getting into politics. Any current players who you could see maybe taking that same route? No doubt. There, there are several guys uh, in today's game. Uh, you know, Harrison Barnes has, has the polish, and I know he's had some thoughts that maybe going in that direction. Uh, teammates nicknamed Malcolm Brogdon the president for his stately <laughs> demeanor and commitment to affecting change. I, I absolutely see him trying to have an impact socially moving forward. There, there are several guys, again, who not only have the voice, but the courage to speak out about things that matter most to them. Many sharp guys in the NBA. Now here's Brunson. Defense is right there. Pass to Hardaway. Here's Doncic. Pocket six. Shoots over Ananobi. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. And it's Doncic missing. A, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. McCaw, the pass to Davis. He can't get that one. And it's Dallas the other way. Donjic with it. Picked up by Davis. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Over Hardaway. That one rolling around and rims out. Mavericks leading by 12. Throws it up high. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Davis gets a wide open look. That doesn't go either for Davis. I can't believe he hasn't hit a shot all period. Someone else needs to step up and help close the gap. Brunson the pass to Doncic. Back to Brunson. No one near him. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got five assists tonight. One nineteen left to play in the first. Doncic against Davis. The pass to Boucher. Can't connect from short range. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. They lead by 14. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Fifty-six seconds left in the first. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's McCall. Brunson covering. Here's Ananobi. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. If you're OG Ananobi, it's about staying healthy. You already know if you're healthy and whole, you can be successful. Passes it to Doncic. From deep three-point range, the long distance three is buried. Doncic has got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the man. Raptors trail by 17. Davis kicks to Thomas. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Back to Davis. Six to shoot. Here's Ananobi, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. And the muscle that Ananobi possesses, fantastic at gutting it out through contact and finishing. And he's got his first chance at the line here.
So he's still polishing the skill set. Ananobi has the size and versatility that every team wants out of his wings. Here's Brunson. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. It's been all about Luka Doncic for the Dallas Mavericks. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. And we'll be back with you shortly. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And quite a position here for the Mavericks to be in. What do you think, guys? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. That's their mindset. Attack, attack, and attack some more. You're not going to beat them playing soft. Mavericks leading by 14. They've got Willie Cauley-Stein. Jalen Brunson out there with Hardaway. Then there's Maxi Kleba, and it's Finney Smith in at the three spot. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. And it's Hardaway atop the key. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Hardaway has got five. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Here's McCaw and the rejection by Cauley Stein. You better come stronger than that. Cauley Stein, a presence defensively. Back to Brunson. Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast at that table? Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And, and quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcasting. You know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and the things that we take for granted now. So looking back Take on it, no, but boy, am I glad I Two did. Shot. I am glad you did, too. You, you probably don't remember <laughs> this. Doc Rivers and I were doing a game. You came over to say hi to the two of us. Went back out on the floor. Doc Nudd just means that he'll be great in TV someday. We saw it then. He's a, he's a good mind. The man knows what he's talking about. Porzingis has checked in for Maxi Kleba. And the Raptors also making a change. Baines has checked in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Raptors trail by 18. Here's McCall. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Baines. Here's Bembry. Guarded by Hardaway. Shot clock at six. Tipped away. Only play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Brunson scanning the floor. Here's Persingas. Boucher with the rebound. And for the Raptors, they're shooting only 32% from the field. Plenty of signs of struggle by this offense today. Here's McCall. Guarded by Persingas. Bembry misses. The defense there got away with a major lapse. And here they come. And Cauley Stein throws it down. Cauley Stein, a tremendous athlete and a dynamic finisher. Here's McCall. Pass to Bembry. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Now, here's Baines. Guarded closely. Five to shoot. Here's McCall. The Mavericks pull it in. Cauley Stein's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Brunson with it. 
He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And Coley Stein throws it down. Just throw it up there. Trill Will's going to take care of the rest. For Toronto, they've gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Bambury kicks to McCaw. In the corner, it's Boucher. Good on the three-point shot. Boucher's got his second bucket of the night. Over the taller defender. This is why you have to stay connected to shooters on the perimeter. And let's give him some credit. He read the situation well. He created some space, and he delivered. Crowley Stein trying to free himself up. Brunson, good. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Here's McCall. Brunson covering. McCaw kicks to Baines. His three-pointers off the mark. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus-10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Well, coming into the league with immense potential, Porzingis has already fulfilled much of it, already an all-star. But you know, Greg, there are still areas he's working on. Yeah, he, he's definitely getting stronger and, and more physical. You'd like to see him make the next pass a little more often when a teammate has a better shot. But if he can just stay healthy, boy, the sky's the limit on what he can accomplish. Here's Persingas. Solid as a rock from 20 feet away. A knockdown shooter, really, from anywhere on the floor. Porzingis knows he has the green light to fire from there. For Toronto, they've gone one of six from the field in the second quarter. It's been a rough period so far. Toronto Turn calls Turn timeout. Out. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. The Mavericks have their young star tandem in Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis. KP said, we can be a pretty deadly duo. It's only going to be a matter of time. Once we get that two-man game going, it's going to be hard to stop. Guys, it's already hard to stop. Back to you. A team on the rise, David. Thank you so much. A different look for Dallas. Powell, he's jacked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Johnson comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Burke in for Jalen Brunson. Then for the Raptors, Powell, he's jacked in for Thomas. Kyle Lowry comes in for DeAndre Bembry. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for McCall. And so it's Burke who brings up the ball for Dallas. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. Powell finds Porzingis. Hardaway against Lowry. Hardaway passes to Persingas. Oh, great ball movement there. Toronto's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Back to Lowry from outside the arc. It's hauled in by Persingas. Persingas has got rebound number seven for him tonight. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Lowry against Hardaway. Here's Powell. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Hardaway has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Lowry against Hardaway. And another shot. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Relentless on the offensive glass. And then you love the finish. The Raptors shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. One shot. One shot. He throw good Van Vliet. Around the free agent race last year for your money, Greg, who would you have rather take? Kawhi and PG, Kevin Durant and Kyrie. Oof. No wow. <laughs> I, I tell you what, it's a I tough just, call. You know, Kawhi's that is, that is. got a couple of finals MVPs. KD's got a couple. 
Kyrie's got a ring. I, it, it's a tough call. I mean, mm. PG is more than capable, man. I, I think it's a I think it's a toss up, partner. I agree. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And at 7-3, Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of abilities. And both free throws good for Porzingis. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Now here's Van Vliet, Burke covering outside for Lowry. Here's Baines. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Tim Hardaway picks one up. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. The Raptors have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. One falls for him. And so he hits both. Dallas leading by 22. And here is Burke. His last outing, he had eight points. Singus passes to Burke. Dallas moving it around. Fast break, Toronto. Here's Powell. Johnson with the block. Sneaky shot blocker. James Johnson is not the biggest guy, but he has the reach to do it. To the inside. Powell. Oh, that's blocked. Here's the three. The shot by Powell, no good. For Dallas, they've gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Here's Burke. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Toronto calls timeout. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Luka Doncic, he's checked in for the Mavericks. OG Ananobi's checked in for Toronto. Dallas on defense. Outside Lowry. A floater, happy to see that one drop, shooting a poultry two for nine. When you are Lowry size, you need to have a strong floater, and that was a beauty he just put up. Burke dishes to Johnson. And the pass to Doncic. Back to Johnson. Six on the shot clock. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. At 7-3, Porzingis is almost impossible to guard, especially when he's focusing on trying to score. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. After having no trips to the free throw line in the first period, he's being much more aggressive now.
and both free throws good for Porzingis. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for the Raptors. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Over to the wing. Baines with no one around. Offline with his three. Dallas has gone three to six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. And here's Porzingis for a three. No good that time. And Toronto will go the other way with it. His struggles from the field continue. Yet, they still hold the lead. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. So the wing on the left. Let's it go from deep. And there's Burke. That's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got his sixth assist on the night. Now here's Van Vliet. He has seven. And a good chance here for Baines. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Passes to Persingas. Powell with the steal. Here's Van Vliet. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Powell for three. Powell pulls it in. Toronto's gone one of six from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%. But they've continued to let him fly. Gets the three-pointer to fall. You have to respect Fred's range. If not, he'll make you pay. Doncic against Lowry. Pass to Burke. Back to Doncic. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And nice to see the strong inside game they're playing this quarter. The Mavericks have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. And Toronto making a change here. Davis has checked in. One shot. Yeah, the versatility and competitive fire of Doncic is impressive. You, you can just tell this kid loves to play the game. Here's Van Vliet. It's rebounded by Dallas. Here's Porzingis with fast break chance. Fast break. Here come the Raptors. Powell, no one around him. And again, Toronto with the triple. Sometimes trailing in the game, players get sucked into trying to make that home run play. Now here's Burke, covered by Van Vliet. Porzingis, that's a two. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Porzingis has got ten points now, just in this quarter. It would take a major comeback for them to get back into this game. And the chances of that happening don't look good. And the way they have controlled the glass this game, really impressive. You know, you look at how they built this lead. It's been through extra possessions. Mm-hmm. Burke, the pass to Persingas. And here is Burke. Shoots over Van Vliet. Burke can't get it to go. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Van Vliet looking around. Lays it up off the glass. Van Vliet's got 12. Yeah, again, just a lackluster transition defense. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. OG Ananobi out of Indiana. He was the 23rd pick in the 2017 draft. Another great draft selection that day. Slip due to injuries concerns, but he's been great. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Billy Cauley-Stein, he's checked in for Pazingas. Maxi Kleba comes in for Dwight Powell. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Johnson. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Burke. Doncic against Davis. Pass to Finney-Smith. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line.
The Mavericks have an exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Thomas checked in for Powell. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for the Raptors. Thomas kicks to Baines. Davis, that's for two. The shot that time, not on target. Now Dallas takes it the other way. They host the Spurs after this one. That'll be the second of four games at home for him. And so confident. He, even amongst the trees, Doncic is fantastic at forcing the issue close to the rim. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Doncic. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 35 seconds left in the second quarter. Now Van Vliet, 12 points for him. Trying to get open is Davis, and he makes that one. Van Vliet's got 14 points. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. Davis against Doncic. There's the pass to Finney Smith. The shot by Kleba. Wide open. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Davis in the corner. Uncovered. And the jumper falls for him. Davis has got his first bucket of the night. And you have to credit Ananobi. He's put in the work to become a better playmaker. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Mavericks lead by 21. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Luka Doncic had a huge first quarter. He had 20 points, 6 assists, and 10 rebounds. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? And when Luka is feeling it, you're in for a long night. Such a clever player on the offensive end. He's been toying with defenders and finding ways to score. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Well, the shooting was terrible. Uh, they didn't seem to have a plan at the offensive end. Let's see, the, the defense had them bottled up. Listen, I'm not a coach, but they need to change their strategy right away, right now, pronto. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. They're asking a lot of him, shouldering the load in a number of areas. 
You just hope he has enough left at the end. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Setting the floor for the Raptors. Van Vliet and Lowry are the one and the two. Ananobi out there with Norman Powell, and it's Baines in at the five. Dallas leading by 19. Here's Burke, passes it to Powell. Johnson surveying the floor. Back to Powell. Good, and it's Johnson with the assist that time. Johnson's got three assists now in this one. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Inside, here's Lowry. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Lowry's got four points now in the quarter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Doncic against Lowry. The wide open look here for Perzingis. Off target with the open look. Raptors trail by 19. Powell for three. Buries the long range jumper. Powell's got seven points in the game. That makes three in a row to start the second half. 90 seconds now into the second half. And an OB against Doncic. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just 10 shots. And with good length and athleticism, Doncic not only gets to the rim, but boy, can he finish. The Raptors have gone three of three from the field since halftime. Here's Van Vliet. Porzingis with the block. And they'll keep possession. But they get it back. The Raptors have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. Shooting two. throw good Van Vliet has always been a tremendous defender in my opinion and he knows he's going to knock down his free throws but now Fred Van Vliet has emerged as a terrific all-around scorer he can pretty much do it all the Raptors making a switch here Boucher is checked in so he gets them both and that's another area where he is just a superb player excellent at the free throw line over to the left wing. Burke with it. Seven points in the game. Here's Johnson. It's good. The assist that time from Burke. Burke's got five assists tonight. Three out of four coming out of the half. Showing good execution on the offensive end. Lowry against Doncic. Porzingis with the block. And with his length, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. And here is Van Vliet. 16 points for him. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And he's all over that shot, has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Anjic passes to Persingas. Powell pulls it in. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. Lowry can't get it to go. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. 
and off the left side of the rim and it swirls in for him. Herb's got four points in the quarter. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Raptors. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Lowry passes to Boucher. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. And the Raptors miss again. Dallas leading by 22. Burke finds Porzingis. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Porzingis has got 14 points for the game. Just impress with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. And the Raptors with the ball. Now here is Lowry. He's got eight. Yep, it counts. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. The Mavericks have gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Doncic kicks to Porzingis. Trying to find Johnson. He's got it now. Over Lowry. And that one hits back iron. Toronto's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Ananobi passes to Van Vliet. Let's it go with a three. That's good from Lowry on the assist from Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Now Doncic. 22 points for him. Out to Porzingis. Wide open look. Count that one. He's got 16. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Toronto calls timeout. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Dallas making a switch here. Hardaway's checked in. McCaw, he's checked in for Toronto. DeAndre Bembry comes in for Fred Van Vliet. Powell dishes to Lowry. Back to Powell. Launches it. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got three assists in the game. Mavericks leading by 18. Burke looking over the floor. On the wing, Hardaway. Over in the corner, Przingis. And the dunk by Doncic. And you want more of this from Doncic. He's good at reading shot trajectories. Love his aggressiveness. Here's Powell. He's got 10. Down low, Boucher. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. Porzingis is doubling. Powell with the steal. Pass to McCaw. Back to Lowry. From deep. And again, Toronto with the triple. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowing. Burke with it. 11 points in the game. Outside, Brzingis. It's Powell on the wing. From beyond the arc. Rebound by the Raptors. Boucher's got four rebounds now tonight. Lowry against Doncic. Lowry kicks to Boucher. And a miss there on the triple. Mavericks leading by 15. To the inside. And the dunk by Powell. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. The Raptors are gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. And here's Lowry. He's got 16. And there's the pass to Boucher. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got four assists in the game. 
Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, thank you, Kevin. The NBA continues to build international academies to develop prospects from other countries. Already, academy graduates are playing Division I college basketball. And before long, NBA players should start emerging from that pipeline. The league continues to reach out to find overlooked youngsters who have a gift and give them the opportunity. Guys? Outstanding, David. Thank you. Dallas calls timeout. And coach most likely wants to address their turnover issues. The offense looks forced right now, rush. There's no synergy to it. They have to find a way to work together and remain aggressive without making mistakes. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Willie Cauley-Stein, he's checked in for Przingis. Maxi Kleba comes in for Dwight Powell. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Luka Doncic. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Trey Burke. Count that bucket. And with his vertical reach, you expect Cauley-Stein to be a factor on the offensive glass. Davis, the pass to the Bembry. Back to Davis. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Thomas down low. Here's Boucher. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. Hustle points count just like any others. That's a great play. Brunson against Davis. That one drops for him. Brunson's got eight points. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Now here is Davis. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. In the corner, Powell with it. And the rejection by Coley Stein. It's Thomas outside. Offensive rebound. Boucher goes up again. And that's two points on the layup. Boucher's got nine points here in the second half. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. And Hardaway gets it to go. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Here is Davis. Mavericks with the rebound. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Brunson with a clean look. And the three off target. Raptors trail by 14. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That is his first foul of the game. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for the Raptors. Now Davis. Pass to Bembry. Inside. And the dunk by Baines. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeAndre Bembry. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Brunson. No good on the quick three. And stolen by Coley Stein. Finney Smith passes to Hardaway. Over Davis. And no good. Trying to use the glass. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Toronto Raptors. Down by 12. Releases. Baines. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Willie Cauley-Stein. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Oh, 
shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Some changes for Toronto. OG Ananobi comes in for Chris Boucher. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Bembry. He hits both from the strike. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. We've got 123 left in the third quarter. Here's Brunson. Eight points for him. Hardaway for three. And Baines pulls it down. Baines has got rebound number seven for him tonight. The lead now in single digits. Davis has got his second basket of the game. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Outside Hardaway from downtown. Toronto grabs the miss. Van Vliet's got his fifth rebound in this one. The chance here for Davis and too long on the shot. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. And Paulie Stein throws it down. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. James Johnson's checked in for Dorian Finney-Smith. throw no good for Cauley Stein and Cauley Stein has drawn comparisons to Tyson Chandler due to his length and athleticism it's important he continues to get better Thomas kicks to Van Vliet shot clock at five off the left rim and out Hardaway with it seven points in the game Here's Kleba, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Hardaway. And the Mavericks lead by 12. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. Back right after this. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Raptors trail by 12. Hardaway is out there with Jalen Brunson. Then there's Maxi Kleba. Then there's Pauly Stein. And it's Johnson in at the three. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Thomas finds Davis. Van Vliet outside. Six to shoot misses the three they have been board dominant in this game that's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead that's just great court recognition there he saw the d pack in the lane on the break so he calmly rolls up and drained the transition three brunson against van vliet and he could not get that one to go a lot of contact and he'll go to the line for two yeah way to play in attack mode and get to the line Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good.
good on both. Mavericks leading by 13. Outside Hardaway. The pass to Brunson. Second shot opportunity. The shot by Colley Stein. No good. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Brunson up top. Covered by Van Vliet. Tries from the block. Colley Stein's shot is good. And the Mavericks lead by 13. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Pass to Van Vliet. Gets in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists in the game. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Pass to Kleba. Shoots over Ananobi. Kleba, no good. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. A different look for Dallas. Porzingis comes in for Maxi Kleba. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Hardaway. And Toronto also making a switch. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Thomas. Outside, Davis. Pass to Lowry. And Baines kicks to Davis. Now the pass to Lowry. Just five on the clock. And the Raptors miss again. Mavericks leading by 11. Here's Persingas. Hits the jumper in space. And how about the vision there from Doncic? Can make the easy pass and also the difficult one. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. Puts it up from 15, and the Raptors miss again. For Dallas, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Brunson against Van Vliet. The three from Porzingis. And that one is off. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. OG's a tricky cover. Has strength, has quickness, and just still learning the game. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And some changes here for the Mavericks. Dwight Powell's checked in for Willie Cauley Stein, and it's Burke in for Jalen Brunson. sinks the second Mavericks leading by 12 and here is Burke over in the corner Doncic off target from outside for Toronto they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter that cuts the lead to single digits their ability again to stretch the floor particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Here's Doncic. Johnson in the corner. The three. And the dunk by Porzingis. And what a motor. Porzingis is an all-star talent who is also willing to do the dirty work. Raptors trail by 11. Now, here's Lowry. Passes it to Baines. No good with the triple. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. He's got a clear pass. Here's Ananobi. Finishes the break with a slam. 
That break coming off the turnover forced by OG. Great anticipation. Now Burke. Pass to Doncic. Back to Burke. Launches a three. And Baines pulls it down. Baines has got 11 rebounds in the game. And still early in the period. And they're only one foul away from being over the limit. And Toronto making a change here. Fouls checked in. Raptors trail by nine. Here's Baines. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle. So a chance at the line for one more. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. And a discussion of great two-way players in this league. Sometimes Lowry gets overlooked, and that's a mistake. On Judge passes to Persingas. Doncic against Lowry. Doncic outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Persingas. A second chance effort. He lays it in. Persingas has got six points in the quarter. And, and they continue to control the glass. Here's Van Vliet. Basket counts. Love the strength on that drive by Fred Van Vliet. He is tough and he's aggressive. Doncic against Lowry. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And that one misses. Good on the second free throw. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for the Raptors. Seven point differential. Pass to Ananobi. Raptors moving the ball around. The 11 footer for Zingas with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That went off for Zingas. Puts it up, off the inbound. And here we go, the Mavericks in a fast break. Burke with the ball, the feed to Doncic. It's good, the assist that time from Burke. Burke's got assist number seven for him tonight. And it just seems when Doncic turns it on, it's a sight to see, incredible at scoring in a variety of ways. Lowry drives in. He kicks it to Baines. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. It's incredible. And I'll tell you what, it's a joy to watch. There's more to his game than threes and dunks. And the dunk by Powell. Uh, just a super unselfish guy. Doncic is all for getting his guys going. Enjoys setting the table. Raptors trail by 11 some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum Van Vliet kicks to Lowry he dishes it to Powell for three 
The shot, no good. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Doncic outside. Puts up a three. Rebound by the Raptors. Van Vliet right side. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Van Vliet's got eight here in the quarter. This is what happens when Fred gets into a rhythm. His whole offensive game rises to another level. Doncic against Lowry. A three from Porzingis. Drills it from outside. Porzingis has got 13 points here in the second half alone. Raptors trail by 12. Van Vliet outside. Here's Lowry. Goes back up. Ananobi. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Here's a look at what's coming up for Toronto. On Friday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And then on Sunday, they'll defend home court against the Orlando Magic. And looking at the Philadelphia matchup, that's where you have got to bring your A game, especially Super when two. you know you're going to be fighting an uphill battle all night long. The first one falls for him. And so he makes both from the line. Dallas calls timeout. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up, and that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Hey, Kevin, I heard Rick Carlisle during that last break talking with the team. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go, guys. And that'll be Dallas as it goes out of bounds. Mavericks retain possession. Porzingis is double. Shot clock at six, and the shot goes in. And the Mavericks lead by 12. Nice presence inside. Johnson with a variety of moves and extremely good footwork makes him a difficult matchup. The Raptors have gone 7 to 16 from the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. Van Vliet passes to Lowry. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Przingis. And with the frequency of three-point shots skyrocketing, Greg, does the drastic change concern you? And should something be done to, to lessen the dependence these teams have on threes? It's crazy. I mean, we're starting to see teams take more threes than twos. You mm. know, some have said maybe limit two. fouls on three-pointers to only two free throws. Uh, that might eliminate some of the flopping on those long-range attempts, but I really feel like this is the evolution of the game, and that three is going to be vital. And Kyle Lowry drops them both. Mavericks leading by 10. Burke with it. Rodgers outside. The pass to Powell. Porzingis kicks to Doncic. Another steal.
And oh, here we go. Lowry's got the fast break chance. Yep, that one goes in there. Lowry's got it back down to single digits for Toronto. A much different player here in the second half. He's taking advantage of what the defense allows. Lowry against Doncic. Powell, the pass to Doncic. Lays it up and banks it in. Doncic has got 29 in the game. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Bounce pass from Lowry. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, the defender all over. That's good for Mananobi. Tim Hardaway Jr. has checked in for the Mavericks. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And really making the most of his opportunities there tonight. Hasn't been the struggle we sometimes see him go through. Dallas calls timeout. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here. And not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups. Sure, but it's been a non-stop parade to the foul line. Dallas leading by eight. And here's Burke. Right side Hardaway. To the middle. Here's Persingas. And it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. Hardaway has got his seventh assist in the game. Lowry against Hardaway. This one for three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Okay, that's frustrating. He worked hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Here's Persingas. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now a 12-point Maverick lead. And a little contact won't go a long way against Porzingis. What a display of physicality. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Raptors. Porzingis with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Porzingis. So it's Toronto now. Baseline jumper. It's held in by Persingas. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait. But you can't blame him. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter. Persingas is double. Lock at six. Here's Johnson. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Van Vliet left side. There's another block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for Dallas. Their shot blocking turned out to give them a big advantage in this game. Yeah, excellent defense around the rim there, Kevin. That They were disciplined and focused. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Luka Doncic. An all-around dominant performance. Only certain guys can do this. Complete control, three phases of the game. Congrats, a triple-double. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. On the wing, Hardaway. To the paint, Porzingis kicks to Powell. Porzingis passes to Hardaway. Stolen by Van Vliet. And here we go, Van Vliet heading to the hoop. You have to protect the ball against Fred Van Vliet. On a per-minute basis, he racks up a lot of steals. So we see the Mavericks get the win here. 
even early on in this one it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight and it makes a big difference and once they started to really play in rhythm you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win and now let's catch up with David Aldridge who's standing by from the sideline all right Dave thanks Kevin Luca you played well and you got the win so what made the difference yeah, I think we had a uh, we had a great game. You know, we had a I think it was a great game today. You know, we step up uh, together, play good defense, and it was a great win. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Kevin, back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.